uh, we have uh, the co-authors of The Big Plot. Uh, on the right-hand side, we have Jason Ho, and the left-hand side, we have Moev Kada. In the book, I noticed that um, you guys discuss about how TSMC and Huawei, these are actually joint companies. Is that correct? It's the one organization, two brand names. Oh, I see. Could you elaborate on that? Sure. And this is a very difficult concept for foreigners to understand, especially for usual people. Yeah, I don't understand the, for the beginning. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't understand that. The first time I told you, you think that's an impossible story. Yeah, that's not possible. But uh, now I understand what's happening to them. But you understand in a very, very hard way. Because they are so powerful, so strong, they did a lot of damage to you and to the Japanese society. Yeah, they can do whatever they like. Uh, like uh, they use Japanese politician to accuse me. They can use prosecutors to accuse me. Oh, they do. The, they did the same thing to me. So mm -hmm. that's why we yeah, yeah, together, yeah. because and uh, because they know how to use government power. Uh, um. First of all, I. When I heard a, heard a story from you, I couldn't believe it. On, just one company used the government power. Just one company used the police power and uh, accused you. I thought you were lying. And whatever you talk about happened the same thing to me. Then I believe <laughs> you never lied to me, so, unfortunately. How did you guys know it was Huawei at the back? This is uh, so obvious because it's amazing. Um, myself is very unique and uh, experienced, and uh, I also have a more to talk about her experience later on. Myself, the person, only TSMC, and back the days, back to 1990s, 30% of TSMC shares, maybe now it's less. That person made a criminal complaint against me, against myself to file to the Taiwan Investigation Bureau. That complaint dismissed by Taiwan Investig Investigation Bureau because and he said, I'm a fraud. I never work on the F-35 jet fighter project, and I don't have a well registered company in America, but everything proved the truth is the false. And uh, I reported the case to ABI. I was put under the ABI Victim Assistance Program. So that's the history. So through there, I saw the person, I learned the person who controlled the TSMC and filed a falsified criminal complaint against me. Even that complaint dismissed by the Taiwan Investigation Bureau, even I was put under FBI Victim Assistance Program because FBI cannot identify that powerful person as a suspect. But even in that sense, that person used the same reason, same cause, filing the criminal report to the U.S. IRS and tax office to the U.S. FBI again, again. Also filed to the Japanese prosecutors, also filed core intelligence. Wherever I go, wherever I want to do business, he always used the same story. The first criminal complaint he filed against me used that as evidence, used that as a foundation to file against me. But the more have more interesting things happening. Talk about the Usugua. Um, it's complicated. <laughs> it's a, a simple yeah. word. Usugua is a, he's a Chinese who impersonate the Japanese person's identity. Yes, and uh, also Usugua is the person and uh, filed the criminal complaint against you and at uh, the Japanese prosecutor. Because you released uh, his true identity, his Chinese identity. You say that is a defamation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, Jason, I, we should talk about one thing uh, more important. I, I think uh, whatever that powerful person behind the TSMC, he stole many technologies from you. And then Huawei using it. That's a strange it's uh, it's uh, I think uh, probably people will think, how do I know how we use this technology? How do I have a proof? And uh, am I exaggerate about it? Because uh, people and uh, did a criminal complaint, I want to do a personal revenge against them. I think you read our book, you will understand this is not a case. And we detailed. 
And strangely, Huawei people came to our exactly. company. So, well, and then they stole our technology and TSMC used it. What is that? <laughs> Let me explain the more details to everyone. So after I was on the API assistant, Victor assistant program, I've been relocated to Japan. That's how I met uh, uh, the Moe. And uh, she was introduced to me by the Intel CEO in Japan. So we started the company here. And because I was working on hologram technology for F35, I want to continue that research to bring that technology into the consumer market. So we've been hired by a Japanese lab called NICT, the National and the Institute of Communication Technology. And, uh, and so we hired by NICT to continue the hologram development. But amazingly, how we come, how we can, how we can to came to the lab, buying a, this is becoming a front page news in the, in the Japan newspapers, also reported by many Japanese magazines, but the, you never heard about it because TSMC is the most powerful company in the world. So how do we make the connection? Myself, I was the person reported the TSMC and the Huawei to the FBI back to year 2004. I was the first person reported, and I was put under the victim assistant program, which means FBI acknowledged I was victim of person committed federal crime under that program, which means my report is truthful and accurate. Otherwise, I'd be easily in jail. Probably people does not understand American system. If you lie to American government, lie to American agencies, or lie to American agent. That's terrible crime. You can be in jail for 10, 15, 30 years, years easily, depending on how many counts. So that never happened to me. It's proof. Every story is accurate. So from that sense, I reported TSMC Huawei working together. They took my technology away. Some details is very hard to describe here to have everyone understand in a few minutes, but the, our book took about the history and the background how TSMC and Huawei working together. But they come to Japan because hologram, the technology, who knew it? Only TSMC because we didn't talk to anyone. And we work with Japanese National Lab. This is a very small project. It's only about yeah, very small 70 one. million Japanese yen. And the uh, calculate uh, US dollar is about... Uh, this half million. It's a half million US dollars. Very little money. It's a very small project. And hologram is very... And the big item is very more. And the NICT every year have thousands of projects. And Huawei can. They put a very large espionage team and to spy on us. But there's something amazing. In Japan, spy is not a crime, right? Yeah, spy is not a crime in Japan. <laughs> Wiretap is not a crime in Japan. And those are silly. Intellectual property is not a crime. Not in Japan. a crime in Japan because you have to steal something physically. That's a crime. If you steal intellectual property, because not physical things, so it's not a crime. So, how did you guys realize that Huawei was spying with you guys? Because they came to our <laughs> like, like for ev our in person. Every, everybody we know, they visited everybody we work with. But did they did they say that they were from Huawei? Yes, yes, they showed the business card. <laughs> That's amazing. They, they left the business card and they invited the professor we work with to the Huawei headquarters in Shenzhen, in China. And also offer him the 20 million Japanese yen as a benefit. Yeah, just a gift. 20 million basically bribing. Yes, bribing is about uh, and, uh, 150,000 US dollars. And, uh, and uh, that has been reported by the Japanese magazine. Yes. Yeah. And also that professor committed and uh, he received uh, 20 million Japanese yen from Huawei. So, and uh, Huawei, they are fearless because they are the most powerful organization in the world. So they openly used the business card and to visit our partners, to visit our manufacturers, to visit our and the professors and the persons working with us. And... Uh, and uh, even they visit uh, the company who won the contract. I mean, you can mm -hmm. talk about it. Oh. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't need to talk. Okay, all right. So, so this is the this is the very very English say audacious, audacious because they are fearless, and uh, also the this car and the showing very high level, high ranking Huawei executives came to Japan. This is not only one Huawei entity, multiple Huawei entity yeah. entities. Now he becoming a uh, vice president of Huawei. The spy <laughs> yes. came to us. That spy becoming a Huawei vice president. How much he earned money from us? How much the 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 how how much award he received from Huawei company before they successfully spy on us? Also successfully stop our project. They are so audacious because they can control Japanese. Politicians. So this is the、uh, this is something people really understand. So Huawei TSMC is an organization. They don't operate like a company. They use government powers because they know money is a power. Money can do whatever they want. Besides money, they have all type influences, the honey trap, and all type benefits to allure people. To trigger people, so they use FBI, they use Japanese prosecutors, they use the RIS, they use Korean intelligence. They know how to use those government officials because if they show their face, they have to be scrutinized to show their true identity, to show their intention. But the ones who use government agency, they can do the maximum attack. They can hide behind. We can now sue back, and also they don't need to spend a dime because government. Persecuting us is completely free to them, so that's reality. Was that hard lesson we learn about the Huawei and TSMC?、Oh, that was very interesting. Thank you, Jason, and thank you, Mila. Thank you.